Hey, it's Dennis from The Right Stuff. We're back out in the shop today working on our 1969 Chevelle project car. Today we're going to upgrade the rear brakes from drum to disc using our Street Series rear disc brake conversion. This kit fits 1964 to 1972 Camaro, Chevelle, and Nova with a 10 and 12 bolt rear end. First up, we're going to remove the old brake drum. The next step will be to remove the axle. The axles are held in by a C-clip located inside the differential to keep the axle from sliding out of the housing. Next, we're going to remove the differential cover. Just gently pry loose your cover. Next up, we're going to remove the center differential pin, the large pin running through the center of the gear. You do that by removing this 5 16 retaining bolt that goes through here into the pin. Remove the bolt from the differential pin. Next up, we're going to push the pin out. It should push out easy. Don't be afraid to give it a little tap if you need to. With the differential pin removed, the axle will slide in about a quarter inch, revealing the C-clip. Use a magnet. The C-clip will come right out. With the C-clip removed, the axle will slide out. Be careful not to damage your seal. This is what you will see once you remove your axle. No need to remove all the brake hardware. Remove the four axle flange bolts. The drum brakes will come off as an assembly. Now that we have everything disassembled, we're ready to start installing the disc brake kit. Start by selecting the proper bracket. We're working on the left side, the driver's side of the car. We chose this bracket with the recess here, the caliper clocks to the rear of the car, and about the two o'clock position. You'll notice that your brake kit came with a variety of bracket spacers. We're going to start off with the quarter inch spacer. We're going to bolt the kit together, then we're going to come back and check to make sure that our caliper is centered. The caliper and spacer is mounted to the rear of your axle flange. The dust shield goes on from the front. Go ahead and tighten your four axle flange bolts securely. Now that we have the backing plate and the bracket secured, we're going to reinstall the axle, the rotor, and the caliper to check for proper alignment. Next up, we're going to reinstall our axle and also install our C-clip and your differential pin so that you can check proper rotor and pad alignment. Next, we're going to install the rotor onto the axle. Place two lug nuts on to tighten the rotor against the axle to check for our caliper alignment. To prepare the brake caliper for final installation, we'll need to add some high temp brake grease to the rubber O-rings located inside each mounting tab, to the pin bushings, and to the contact points on the pin themselves. Next, insert your greased bushing into the body. Next, let's install our brake caliper and brake pads onto the bracket. Make sure that your caliper mounting ears are on the back side of the bracket. Your emergency brake and bleeder screw are pointing up. This step, we're verifying that the rotor is centered between the brake pads. If the right or left brake pad is dragging against the rotor, we'll need to make the appropriate adjustments. You'll recall when we installed our bracket, we used the quarter inch spacer. If the pads do not clear the rotor, you'll need to adjust the caliper position with the included spacers. If the inside pad hits the rotor, you'll need to add spacers between the flange and the caliper bracket. If the outside pad hits the rotor, you'll need to use one of the smaller spacers or remove the spacers completely. Spacers can be stacked to achieve the required thickness. For more information on Right Stuff parts and disc brake conversions, be sure to check out our website at www.getdiscbrakes.com. Also follow along Right Stuff's YouTube channel for more great how-to videos that may be of assistance to you when it comes time to work on your hot rod. Be on the lookout for all of our great parts available at most performance retailers. Thanks for joining us at Right Stuff today. We'll see you out there.